hold it. I think you're going to like this picture. Love That Bob. Starring Bob Cummings. Make me wear the cheap coat while she wears the pretty one. <laughs> Tell her, Bob. Uh, he, yeah, I think I'd better. Excuse us, Shirley, won't you, please? <laughs> now, if you wear that coat, the men will look at your face instead of at the clothes the window shows you. Instead of pink. Because you have the most beautiful face I've ever seen. Oh, I couldn't play. With Shirley's face, they will look only at the coat. Right, right. Cheesy coat, beautiful face. Beautiful coat, cheesy face. <laughs> oh, fromage face. What? Oh, fromage face. Yeah, that, 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 that shirt. <laughs> no, I can't play. Oh, that's what I like about you, Colette. You're smart. You got a good head on your shoulders. <laughs> oh, it's bold. What? Oh, yeah, bold, bold, yeah. <laughs> Solid, uh-huh. <laughs> Am I going to see you tonight? Of course you are. Don't you worry. Well, here we are. Now. For my face, huh? What does that mean? Oh, tell her, Bobby. Uh, yeah, I think I'd better, uh, excuse us, won't you, Colette? <laughs> now, Shirley, baby, what are we trying to sell with this picture? Me. Who buys me? Man. All right, what kind of a face attracts a man? A pretty one? Or, as we say in French, fromage face. Oh. That's what fromage means. That's it. Beautiful, lovely, exciting. A beautiful face to match a sensational coat. <laughs> now, let's get the shot, huh? Did you tell Colette that's why she couldn't wear the coat? You bet I did. I bawled her out for even thinking about it. She admitted that she was a bonehead. Good. <laughs> now, let's get this one, huh? Bo, uh huh? can I wear this coat on our date tonight? Our date tonight? You haven't forgotten. Oh, no, 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 honey. You see, it's just that the coat's got to go back to, to Furman's tonight. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, as long as I've got you. You bet you have. Now, let's get the shot. Bye. <laughs> what do you think you ought to do about it, Chuck? Well, if I were you, boss, I'd... I'd Close I'd, the window? I think that'd be my best move. Very I'd good move. That. Close it. All right, girls. Now, let's, let's try to get this again. Now, nice big smile. That's it. Hold it. Good. Thank you. Hi, Bobby. Car. Well, what you doing here, boy? Bobby, tell me something. Ah? Uh -huh. What would you do to entertain a very important out-of-town furniture buyer? Well, let me see. I, I got him a date with a beautiful girl. Mm -hmm. Uh, take him to the best night spots, wine him and dine him. And before the evening was over, I'd have his order for ten carloads of furniture. <laughs> oh, Bobby, that's wonderful. Oh, Bobby, you have saved my job. Oh, nonsense, Har. You could have gotten that advice from anybody. <laughs> well, advice, yes, but how many of my friends would do it for me? <laughs> oh, thanks a million, Bobby. That's it. Har, um, excuse me. Look, do I understand that you think that I'm going to entertain your out-of-town furniture buyer for you? Well, obviously, I, I can't do it. The boss would kill me. I'm the, what are you talking about? This bill's up his business. I'm talking about the big, big boss. That, look, walk in... Oh, you mean the one at home. <laughs> the one that I love, admire, and respect. And live in mortal terror. What about rounds up a bit? Yeah. Well, howdy, little lady. <laughs> Henderson's my name. H.R. Henderson, the furniture king. I have stores in five states. Back where I come from, everybody knows and everybody owes H.R. Henderson. <laughs> Delighted to make your acquaintance. Likewise. Do you own a rent? You own a rent? A furnished or unfurnished. <laughs> oh, well, looks like we can't do business, honey, but I have my card anyway. Today's acquaintance is tomorrow's customer. <laughs> Say, how would you like a Henderson calendar? Just zip it open like that. Whoops. Wrong one. <laughs> what else do I have for you? Maybe you just better have a blotter, honey. They told me at Mr. Helms' office I could find him here. Yes, he's in the studio talking to Mr. Collins. He is, huh? <laughs> and I bet I know just what they're talking about, too. <laughs> they're talking about which one of these lovely ladies they're going to fix me up a date with tonight. Yo, I tell you... Mr. Helms, if... we've never met, but I'd know you anywhere. <laughs> Henderson's the name. H.R. Henderson. Oh, and I'm delighted to make your acquaintance. And I got a feeling I'm going to like your line of furniture. 
<laughs> well, I, I'm very glad to know you, Mr. Henderson, but you see, my name is not Mr. Helm. Yeah, that, that, that's right, Mr. Henderson. To a customer like you, he is just plain Harvey. <laughs> Harv. Uh, Harv. That's what he likes his friends to call him, Harv. Well, I can <laughs> see he's got some mighty nice friends. Oh, well, yes. Uh, uh, girls, I would like you to meet one of the limitest men in the furniture business, Mr. H. R. Henderson. <laughs> Friends call me Hap. <laughs> Tell me something. You girls own a rent. <laughs> now, Bobby, Bobby, now look. Bobby, Bobby please. I, I, we, he likes you and he thinks you're me. Bobby, he will have a wonderful time tonight and he'll buy enough furniture to get me that raise that Ruthie's been hounding me about. Please. Harv, it, I'm sorry. I, I won't do it. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. Oh, Harv, fine. be reasonable. Uh, what, what, and from that one little old store, I built me the biggest credit furniture business west of the Rocky Mountains. I started with a shoestring, and I wound up with a chain. <laughs> Say, how would you like a Henderson chain, honey? Just take a look at that. Hold it right up to the light there. And focus it. And it whoop! <laughs> wrong pocket. <laughs> Here's, the key here. Here's the one for the ladies, right here. There you are, my dear. There's one for you. Be my guest, honey. Now, let's see which one you have. I think you have the fire falls at Yosemite. <laughs> uh, say, Harv. Oh, uh, yes. <laughs> uh, which one of these gals is my date tonight, the blondie or the Frenchie? Oh, well, uh, I have a date with Bob tonight. No, no, he's my date tonight, right, Bobby? Tell her, Bob. Uh, you tell her, Harvey. Uh, yeah, I think I better. <laughs> Excuse us just a moment, please. <laughs> this. What's going on? Now, Shirley, baby, I know you're all shook up because you thought you had a date with me tonight. But my friend, Harvey Helm, comes first. <laughs> and his friend, Mr. Henderson, comes even ahead of him. <laughs> you can say that again, boy. I can make or break that man. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Shirley, do you understand? Well, no, I don't. Well, it, I'm sure that Harvey will explain it to you in just a half a minute. Just, just a half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course you're going to be my date. Shirley's with Henderson, okay? Oui, Bobby. Harvey, Harvey. Oh, oui, Harvey, Harvey. Right. Uh, am I your little bonnet? Boy, well, you sure are. And stay there. Oh, yes, you understand? Oh, yes, sir, Mr. Henderson. Th th that Harvey Helm is a wonderful fellow. <laughs> but he deserves a much bigger job than he's got. Now, if you were to put in a good word with Mr. Gravener about him, I'm... I'll miss you, honey. <laughs> I'll miss you, honey. <laughs> uh, this is all of the earth, that Harvey. <laughs> now, if you were to put in a good word with Mr. Gravener about him, I'm sure that he would be eternally grateful to you and the... the, the, the Boy, you talk too much. Why don't you go take a picture of something? <laughs> what are you talking about? Of course you're going to be my date. Colette's going to be with Henderson. Okay? Sure, Bob. Harv, Harv. Oh, that's right. Tonight you're Harv. Right. And what am I? You're my date. I told you that. You know what I want you to call me? Say it. I don't... Oh, yeah. Um, fromage face. <laughs> oh, he says, yeah, but where did all those Indians come from? <laughs> well, we're all set. Now, now, we'll see these lovely girls a little later on this evening. Well, bye, Hap. So long, Blondie. Au revoir. C.C., Frenchie. <laughs> uh, Mr. Henderson, uh, when would you like us to pick you up tonight? Well, as soon as you notice me sliding under the table. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Oh. Yeah, did you think that was funny, Mr. Hell? Oh, he didn't hear you, Mr. Henderson. He said as soon as he starts sliding under the table. <laughs> That's better. Well, if there's one thing you need in the furniture business, it's a sense of humor. Oh, yeah. that's so true. Yeah, say, uh, by the way, what line are you pushing this year? Yeah, well, I'm having pretty good success with how'd you like to be in pictures, honey? How'd you like to be in pictures? <laughs> I knew it. Oh, that's a chest. Yeah, sure is. Now, that's the kind of thing that sells furniture, boy. I've got to remember that one from our sales speech. Well, Harvey, boy, we're going to have ourselves a carload of fun tonight. Oh, we'll have ten carloads.
Yeah. Oh, uh, is this you, Tommy? Oh, uh, this is Daddy. Uh, son, is Daddy? Honey, is, is your father? Well, if you turn the television set down, maybe you could hear me. Oh, is Mommy there, darling? Mommy. Mommy, your mother. Daddy's wife. <laughs> Tommy, would you please? Will you put your sister on, please, Tommy? <laughs> uh, hello, Nancy Puddin. Uh, honey, this is Daddy. Uh, darling, is mother there? She isn't? All right, all right. Well, look, I want you to take a message for me, please. Tell mommy that daddy is going to have to be working late at the... Off, 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 off. Darling, no, Nancy, you won't need your secret squadron decoding ring. Don't... <laughs> Nancy, I... Nancy, I... Don't... Nancy, come back! Shirley, you're, you're doing a sensational job of driving, but keep your eye on this fellow on the left here. <laughs> the left? Now, now, honey, Shirley knows what she's doing. You just keep your eyes on your side. <laughs> Shirley, uh, when we get to the hotel, you just pull up in front. And Colette, since you're sitting on the right, you run in the hotel and get Mr. Henderson. Why should I go? Shirley... We'll, we'll be circling the block so we don't get a parking ticket. Besides, Mr. Henderson... Is... We'll be thrilled to see you. But he's expecting... Whoop, whoop, we're late. <laughs> uh, just uh, turn in here and pull up, Shirley. Now, will you please listen carefully, dear? Tell your mother that Daddy is going to be working late at the office. And that I... I can't give it to you in code, Nancy. I don't know the secret squad in code. Will you? <laughs> Nancy. Nancy. Nancy, if you... Would you put your brother back on, please, Nancy? <laughs> what do you mean he's just gone down to the drugstore to buy liver pills? <laughs> I don't care if 12 New York doctors said it! <laughs> Nancy. There you are. I will be back to speak with Mr. Henderson. Now, Shirley, do not try to steal my day. <laughs> not that you could. <laughs> I like her conceit. You could take Henderson away from her like that. <laughs> Who wants him? I've got you. You mean to tell me you're going to let her get away with this? Look, if I was stuck with Henderson, I'd be upset too. But surely she challenged your ability as a woman. Mm -hmm. Forget it. Let's talk about you and me. You have no patriotism. Patriotism? Why, certainly. This is bigger than woman against woman. This is France against America. You gonna <laughs> let your country down? Bob, come off it. I know. You can't take Henderson away from her. Well, I don't want to. You can't. I can. <laughs> now, that's the old American spirit. <laughs> All right. All right, but I'm not going to take him off her hands for the whole evening. Oh, of course not. J just teach her a lesson for now. How? You climb in the back seat. I just want to see the look on Colette's face when he climbs in beside you. <laughs> okay. Good. But as soon as we get to the club, I'm giving him back to Colette. Oh, naturally, honey. <laughs> <laughs> now then. Now, when I notice that TV is here to stay, yeah. I take every bookcase I have in stock, cut them clean in half, put legs on them and turn them into TV stands. Oh, isn't that clever? <laughs> now, instead of being stuck with $125 bookcases, yeah. <laughs> I got me $250 television stands. 200 <laughs> Hey, what's the matter with you, Harvey? You're not drinking your fire water. Are, are you folding up on us? No, no, no. Go, go right ahead and fill them up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, talking about fire water reminds me of the time I was fishing up north. On the sh on, right on the shores of this lake was this old Indian, and he was standing there fishing. He pulled himself out of the water, a beautiful little mer... Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. Golly, I didn't know. Uh... <laughs> you would like to dance. I would. Oh, so would I. Oh? Okay, you two dance, and Hap and I'll talk business. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Harv. We'll talk business later. Oh. Come on, Blondie. You and I are going to dance. Bobby. Oh, yes, honey. 
Are you sure I am your dear? Oh, of course you are. You are not just, how you say, twisting my foot. Honey, I... Twisting your foot? Stretching my stocking? Pulling your leg? Please. Uh, honey, I don't know what's the matter with these gals today. Blondie tells me she's bush. Come on, Frenchie, you and I are going to have a little dance. <laughs> Honey, I'm so sorry. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure I'm your date? Of course you are, honey. I told you. Well, tell him. <laughs> I'm not getting in the back seat with that, that furniture wolf again. Okay, I'll straighten him out. Well, while you're at it, make sure Colette understands, too. Honey, I'll straighten them both out. Don't you worry your shiny little nose about it. Oh, is it shiny? What? Oh, excuse me. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Look. Go away, boy. I'm busy. No, look. Blondie's lonesome for you. She is? Yeah. <laughs> Say, Harp, why yeah. don't we get out of here and go someplace where they play some fast music? Yeah. <laughs> okay, be right with you. Yeah. Uh -huh. Sorry. <laughs> oh, with him a dance in a wrestling match. <laughs> oh, I feel sorry for Shirley. You mean after what she just said about you? Well, what did she say? She said you couldn't take Henderson away from her if you wanted to. I do not want to. You're going to let her insult France? So far? Well, honey, she implied that French women don't have as much sex appeal as American women. We have more. Want to teach her a lesson? We. Oui. When we leave here, you jump in the back seat with Henderson. I just want to see the look on Shirley's face. I do. Vive la France. Oh, vive la France. Yeah. But remember, uh -huh. I am still your date. Oh, don't you worry your shiny little nose about that. Oh, Bobby, you are the... <laughs> what? Oh, Excusez-moi. Oh. Huh? <laughs> Hap. Hey, Hop. <laughs> there, you having fun? Well, I'm having me a ball. <laughs> Say, uh, well, well, the lady. Oh, they're, they're uh, in powder in their noses. <laughs> Do you like them? They're living dolls. Aren't they? Do <laughs> Just one thing, Harp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, which one is mine? Well, I tell you, you can take your pick because they're fighting over you. They yeah, are? Sure. <laughs> you noticed the brunette came into the hotel to get you. And when you came out front, the blonde was waiting in the back seat for you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And two to one, when we leave this time, the brunette will jump in the back seat with you. Come on, Harv. They don't have to fight over me. <laughs> yeah. There's enough for everybody. <laughs> oh, you heartbreaker, you. <laughs> Look, Hap, I, I want to talk to you. Um, about this furniture contract... Oh, now, 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 just a second. Uh -huh. Now, there's one thing I always say, pleasure before business. Yeah. Boy, we got a long night ahead of us. <laughs> I make sure we are. <laughs> Schultz. Buddy. Oh, hi. Yeah, Where, where's right. Bobby? Oh, he hasn't come in yet. He hasn't come home yet. What? I just stopped by the house. His bed hasn't been slept in. Well, maybe, maybe he's taking Henderson to the airport. No, no, no. I, I called the hotel. They haven't seen Henderson since 7 o'clock last night. Schulte, I worked till midnight getting this order ready, and now I've got no buyer. Will you check the jail? Gee, I... The jails? Well, you know the boss. When he entertains, he entertains. <laughs> oh, now, now Schulte, don't even... Think about things like that. Oh, what you need is a cup of coffee. Come on, I got some in the studio. What, Schultz, you... Oh, this is dreadful. What am I going to do? I can't go to the office. I walk in, Mr. Gravener walks up to me and he says, Where's Henderson's signature? I turn to him and say, I can't even find Henderson. <laughs> I feel better. Oh, really? Schultz, where could they be at 9.30 in the morning? There isn't a nightclub in the world that... stays. <laughs> I thought those minks moved. They did. Oh. Bobby. Bobby! Wake up. Mm. Wake up, Bobby. Mm. Bobby, where's Henderson? Bobby? Oh, hi, hi. Uh -huh. yeah, Henderson. Bobby. H.R. Henderson, the furniture king, the out of town buyer that you were entertaining for me. Who? Oh, oh, the, the, hey, uh, out of the, the, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Think <laughs> yeah where'd I put him? Here, boss. He was, uh, yeah. Uh, Bob, he didn't get away, Bobby. No, you didn't no, let him leave town. No, no, I stashed, I stashed him someplace for you. Mm, 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 mm. I know, uh, 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 look in the developing tank, Schultz. 
The developing tag. No, 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 wait a minute. I remember now. He didn't fit. Oh no. Oh no. Now, now, now hold the heart. I I've got him I've got him on ice. I, I um not the refrigerator. No. <laughs> oh, it's coming to me. It's coming. Could you hold that for that uh, thing? Schultz. Could could you hold this stuff, please? Tar, hold this, will you? <laughs> now hold your breath. HR! <laughs> he's still breathing. Yeah, he, he's improved since I put him in there, all right. Mr. Hamilton! HR! Furniture King! Bobby, do something. Look, may, uh, uh, Schulte, come here. Hmm? Just a sec. Half! Half! Blondie wants to dance with you. Just dance oh, him around. Yeah. Come on, Harvey. Right. Dance him this way, Schultz. All right, honey. <laughs> Bobby, how, how many collars did he go for? Ten? Sorry, Harvey. Well, Bobby. Fifteen. Fifteen? <laughs> oh, I will only get a raise. Mr. Graver will make me a vice president. Boy, he better. I wouldn't go through another uh, night. Uh, oh. <laughs> boy, boy, I'm Wait, boy, I'm just ha hat boy. L look what we got for you. Just sit down, right over here. Right, right. That's it. <laughs> here we are. Now, right on the bottom line, Mr. Henderson. That's it. Right this. Hey, Harv, how'd we wind up here? You wanted to get your picture taken. You remember something about that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. You, you, you gonna take one, Colin? Colin? <laughs> you don't have any. Oh, well, well, hey, Bobby. Uh, uh, why don't you get a shot up and sign the order? Oh, oh that, 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 I've always that. wanted to ask you how you use one of these things. This kind well, of develops the picture in 60 seconds, isn't it? It's, uh, oh, I suppose you open it like this, that's and then right. you set the exposure there, yeah, and then you uh, just focus it right through there. I huh? think you've got it, Harvey. Oh, well, you explained it so clearly. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> yeah, boy, Pat, we got to get that picture signed. No, no, right here. That's it. You just take the pen right there now. Nice, clear, clear picture. Now, let's have a nice, big smile. I don't want to put, put, put it right there. I never smile when I'm buying, boy. Only when I'm selling. Pat, <laughs> boy, huh? Think of last night. Wasn't that great? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, ready, uh, oh, we had us a ball, didn't we, boy? Oh, boy. Sign it. Put, put right there. Ready, ready HR. Yeah. Action. The, uh, <laughs> Harv, did we ever decide which gal was mine? Well, they were, they were both yours. Yeah. 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 Sign it right there. Yeah. Top line. Hat right right on the dotted line, HR. Put it right in there. Oh, that blonde was some dancer, wasn't she? Oh, she, she she's great. <laughs> Say, uh, where was that last place I danced with her? I, I remember the floor was small but springy. Yeah, that was the back seat of my car. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just have time to, you just have time to catch your plane. Oh, don't, 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 don't. Now, now, let's have a nice, clear signature now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice smile. Chuck, boy, I'm having too much fun to go home. <laughs> Now, I'll tell you what, Harv, why don't you call the gals and let us get an early start tonight? What do you say? <laughs> oh, now, don't worry about that order, boy. I may double it. <laughs> now, I, I better get back to the hotel, catch a little shut-eye. Uh, when do you think you'll be dropping over? Any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> now, let me rest till about five. You hear, Harv? Because I need my rest. That's one thing. And I'll tell you something, son. Tonight, we're really going to hoot it up. <laughs> Nice, clear picture, Mr. Helm. You want it? No, I just wanted him signing the order. You better take it, Harv. You'll never see a better picture of a man getting the business. by King Donovan, Shirley Swanson by Joey Lansing, Colette Dubois by Lisa Gay, and H.R. Hap Henderson by Bob's special guest, Jess White. Furs by Furman's of Beverly Hills.
This is Bill Baldwin speaking.